Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. Yesterday, EA did something that absolutely nobody expected. They leaked the entire Winter Wild Cards promo SBC content for the next two weeks. Every SBC, the next two weeks, we know what day we're getting it, and we know who we are getting. There are some massive names, including some Winter Wild Cards players and icons like Rude Hullet. Is getting an SBC. Yeah, it's wild. And then on top of that, Foot Sheriff leaked the entire team that is coming into packs this Friday as well. We've got the loading screen. It is causing market panic. Prices are dropping everywhere. We got to talk about it all today and cover it all. If you're excited for Winter Wild Cards, drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Let's quickly, and yes, emphasis is on quickly, go through yesterday's content so we can get into all the Winter Wild Cards and the current madness that has unfolded since yesterday on this game. First of all, we had a player SBC that was Vincenzo Griffo. Not too much to say here, although he does have 90 pace. He's got four star skills, three star weak foot. It is one squad, easy to do. I like his alternate positions and I like his play style plus he's got the whipped pass plus trivella flare technical and dead ball and it is a cheap sbc coming in on footbin and 29,000 coins again it is not live it is just a europa league team of the group stage griffo card so if you run a bundesliga side maybe that's an sbc that you get done just for the play style plus just to get it done 29,000 coins it is pretty cheap we also had the kessler hero challenge yesterday that is very cheap, of course, a part of that completionist objective that I know a lot of people are trying to get done. Now, also yesterday, the biggest SBC that we had was a party bag, and it was an 87 plus campaign mix upgrade. It only contains trailblazers, centurions, and triple threat players that are 87 plus, which actually means there's a really small pool of players that you can pack from that pack, which in theory would make you think that the pack weight mathematically would be a little bit better towards some of those big trailblazers like Mbappe or Jude or maybe Sophia Smith or a player like that or maybe a Centurions Rashford, triple threat Karchawi. Well, we opened some on the second channel yesterday, so after this video, if you want to go check that out, we did open some of those. It's the price that really is the problem, right? It's an 84 and 86 rated squad. It's 100,000 coins to do, which is a little bit steep and i'll be honest we did pack a decent number of cards that were around that 100,000 coin threshold but it's again it is a gamble pack and a lot of times these don't give out consistently but that one was at least interesting yesterday because like i said there were just like so f i think there's only 20 something players that you could pack from that pack you see a lot of the same players over and over but maybe worth a try if you want to send it it's out for a couple uh, of days it's out for six days and it is going to refresh at some point during this week at least one more time so that was dropped yesterday but yeah it didn't really move fodder that much as well just to take a look at fodder it is a gamble pack and these are the type of the sbcs that move fodder more than others 84 has went up like 200 300 coins per card if you call that any movement at all they were like 2.2 .2 to 2.3 now they're 2526 the rest of the fodder market is basically unchanged except for 81s continuing to rise 82s rising a bit and even 83s now touching 1.1k because of the 84 times 5 upgrade these are great for lazy sales once again if you want to bid on those um, ea have been running lightning rounds they're probably going to run more today that won't hurt these cards that much because everybody wants to do 84 times fives whether they're opening them right now or saving them for winter wild cards now we did really quickly have another objective that was dropped yesterday and this is kind of a weird one because it's actually like an objective that kind of plays into the winter wild cards promo it's called the winter champions bonus this is our red foot champs evo card design uh foot champs bonus rewards right win 20 games and win uh, what is it? 70 games this time to get the pro red version and 20 games. Basically, 20 games is the 16 games of the last Evo that we had. These are, I guess, what some people call like... Uh, the monthly rewards of old kind of coming back. Hey, if you play champs on the weekend, champs finals, you get extra packs for winning games and playing games. It's out for 35 days, so that's plenty of weekend leagues. To try to get as far in as this as you can. It's not bad. It's just kind of there, right? When that one first came out with the first Foot Champs Pro Evo thing, we were not happy about it. But now it's kind of like, all right, you just play weekend league and it's there and you can get some extra rewards, so we can't really complain too much, to be honest. Now, yesterday we did have an evolution, and they didn't drop this on Wednesday today when it kind of would have made sense, but the Team of the Week upgrade, in my opinion, guys, one of the most useless 
evolutions that we have had this year, unless you already had the player in your club. Basically, what you are doing with this upgrade is paying 50,000 coins or $2.50, 250 FC points. I mean, that's a lot cheaper than 50,000 coins, in my opinion, but GG's EA, we see what you're trying to do here. Um, you're basically adding another inform upgrade or like almost a plus two inform upgrade from an 86 to an 88 on this McCabe card is the example. Um, it is decently easy to do. It's play two and then play two again, and you get quick step and incisive pass, which is a nice boost, especially for a midfield type player. It's just the problem that there's not very many cards you can put into this, and informs are still 35, 37,000 coins on the market. So if you want to go buy a player that even fits this evolution, you're paying an already inflated price on top of the 50k you have to pay to Evo the card, right? You get plus twos and some plus threes around the card, those play styles we mentioned. The craziest thing about this, guys, this is what we pointed out on stream yesterday. The budding Starlet Evo, 252,000 players you can put into this Evo. This Team of the Week evolution with where the rating is set at, max 86 rated with max 84 pace, 76 informs apply to this Evo. Now, that might change today with the new Team of the Week coming out, but the most popular Evo player for this is actually David Alaba. Um, and David Alaba's inform card and Anderson Taliska would probably be another one uh, that is up a lot in price right now because it's very popular. But Alaba specifically literally went extinct. Let me go all the way back to the beginning here. Uh, I'm pretty sure Alaba is not even on the market right now for his 86 rated inform. He is max price of like 75,000 coins. You can see yesterday that he shot up in price because it is a nice plus two overall to Alaba to get him to 82 pace and a little bit higher dribbling in defense. So I think a lot of people are putting him into that, of course, being a Madrid player. But really, guys, like this Evo, in my opinion, is not worth it unless you pack an inform untradeable or have it in your club already. It's just not worth the coins and or buying the card off the market to make that Evo card possible. So that's a bit disappointing, but maybe some more players could come out today in Team of the Week that would fit that. Now, let's get to the conversation at hand okay winter wild cards you saw the loading screen when we logged into this game it's a very simple loading screen it says winter wild card is coming out in a couple of days they released that loading screen early because they wanted to really start the hype early right ea tweeting yesterday about all the sbcs that we were getting is absolutely crazy of course on the loading screen you can see it just didn't show there for us but it's got the icon card and the regular um confirmed design for winter wild cards this is the team before we look at the EA tweet, we want to take a look at the players that are coming into this team that is coming into PAX on Friday. This is Team 1, as we expected. And uh, actually, you know what, guys? For a Winter Wild Cards promo team, Winter Wild Cards never disappoints, all right? A lot of people, though, are saying that this leak looks kind of mid, like 6 or 7 out of 10 worthy. Um, I don't necessarily disagree. There are some big name players in here, right? Ronaldo, VVD, Puteas, Isak is probably going to have a nuts card. Royce, I'm definitely excited for. Rafinha, imagine 5-star skills, right? That could be a really great card as well. Um, or with the 5-star skills, you know, Militao, Balde, Ryan Cherokee, 5-star, five 5-star, five star. Eze, first promo card. There is some nice players in here, and it comes down to how EA are going to boost them. But I I don't have doubts about EA not boosting these cards and making it an L promo because Winter Wild Cards always turns up. Just to remind you, the players that we had last year in Winter Wild Cards, remember the 99 physical KDB, right? Remember some of these cards like Sancho and Usman Dembele and the Joao Felix that we had. Even on the, the cheaper, the lower tier, Klosterman was cracked. Gravenberch was insane. This Lacazette card was kind of like the cheap Mbappe. Uh, the budget Mbappe for the card that he had. Even this Chong card a lot of people use. The Chiellini was center attacking mid. Like, this was a really nice promo. Team 1 and Team 2 last year, the cards that were in packs, they moved the power curve. There were some big-name players. They got legitimate boosts and upgrades, and they were cards that a ton of people genuinely wanted to use. Team 1 a little bit more so than Team 2, but that's why I guess I'm not that worried about this team looking mid on a prediction because the cards that are actually going to drop in the game are probably almost all going to have playstyle pluses. Maybe the last lower couple might not, but they should have good playstyle pluses and pretty good stat upgrades because this is one of those promos. Kind of like Black Friday always has a good promo. Christmas, 
like the footmas promo of old winter wild cards now for the third year it always hits it never misses so i think these guys are going to get good play styles i think they're going to get good stat upgrades so this is just a prediction once again for all the stats but these are the players that are going to be in and i, I think it has potential guys i really do but the part about these winter holiday promos that turns up the heat even more is not the players in packs yes they're always pretty good and i guess we don't know if there's going to be icons in packs but we do know there's going to be icons in sbcs because this is the tweet that ea put out just a couple of hours after we learned of the foot sheriff leak for the players in packs ea literally said winter wild cards is coming and what they didn't tweet when they tweeted this in this actual text is hold that leakers we're gonna tell everybody the content for the next two weeks and you don't get to do that and, and get all that information first they said start to plan your holiday upgrades now with a look at the sbc players coming to ultimate team starting this friday december 22nd with two sbc players gabriel martinelli and rude hullet what a way to start off winter wild cards this friday with those two massive player sbcs you go down the list you see luis hernandez kai havertz del piero on christmas kevin and babu chiro immobile bobby moore ian wright some of the icons after hullet hernandez and del piero they kind of aren't as hyped icons for sure um but the other players do look great allison becker crepin diata john stones i mean trezeguet like guys with winter wild cards oh nate some of these player sbcs are probably not going to be good right yeah not all of them are going to be absolutely insane but can i go back again and remind you of winter wild cards sbcs from last year dimitri payet guys if you look at the most hyped cards from winter wild cards last year it is all SBC players. Dimitri Payet, 11,000 upvotes. One of the most used cards, club legends for so many people last year in this game. Politano had like all the traits that you ever wanted. This year, they'd be like the playstyles, right? Remember EA added? He had 14 different traits. He like had literally every single one in the game. He had so many uh, hype pe people hyped about using his card. Tony Cruz, five-star, five-star SBC. This is a card that I used in my team for ages he was so good that is what this promo has the potential to bring with sbc so when you take a look at this tweet you're like okay havertz how is ea gonna make him hype martinelli how is ea gonna make him hype position changes skill move weak foot upgrades play styles like guys i get excited for these sbcs i think Mbabu is gonna end up being cracked and cheap allison becker like he's gonna be good john stones with some pace crepin diata is probably gonna be like a Irving Lozano type pacey super sub he's four star four star with the league one links like I'm not trying to just hype up this promo and say it's going to be juiced but winter wild cards doesn't ever miss guys you know so I think there is a good reason to be genuinely excited about all the SBCs that are coming during this time period now let's zone in on a couple really quick Martinelli and Hullet. Of course, everybody's talking about Hullet right now, right? His card base icon version 90 rated is down on the market. And people are looking at this graphic saying, wait a second, that's the base Hullet image from when we had base mid and prime icons in the older FIFAs. And you're right, that is a base version of Hullet, which really, guys, we just had an example of this, of how the Hullet SBC is probably going to look in this game. I really think the comparison can be drawn to Zinedine Zidane, right? Zinedine Zidane's base icon this year is what, 94 rated? He got a 92 rated Lil Bro Ultimate Dynasty's icon card. I think for Hullet, it's probably an 88 or an 89 rated icon. It's going to be coming out this Friday, and it's going to be a little bit more affordable than his prime card being 3 million coins on the market. Now, the problem is, will Hullet actually be Hullet Gang if he gets a rating downgrade? They got to keep his defense 80 plus. Like, this Hullet has to be Hullet Gang. Yeah, you do realize that, right? A Hullet Gang SBC for a card that wouldn't be Hullet Gang just seems wrong, right? Just seems wrong. So, I hope what they do with Hullet is maybe give him a little bit more pace, maybe drop his passing and shooting and physical, maybe like one or two, kind of like they did with Zidane, but then maybe change up some of his play styles, right? Like I would be down if they gave Hullet some pace and then gave him like rapid plus or maybe made power shot plus his uh, plus play style, right? Or maybe even aerial. I'm, I'm really curious to see what they do with a little bro Hullet uh, because the base Hullet card in the years past, like, 
even the mid hullet. Mid hullet was often the hullet card that a lot of people used. Uh, and it was a pretty cracked card. It had 88 pace, 88 shooting, 88 passing. It's very similar to the prime card this year um, with a bit more pace uh, and stuff like that. So I'm really curious to see what this card looks like. But that should be our SBC on Friday. If I had to guess a price, I mean, what, Zidane's price of the SBC uh, is how much is Zidane? Like 1.7 mil? 1.7 mil for Zidane. He's 92 rated. I think that a root hullet would probably be around the same range. Maybe you're right around 2 million coins. Seems about right. That's what I would expect there. Now, question also, do we need to invest? If you really want to do hullet, maybe you stock your club with some 88s and above, right? The prices are okay. They're inflated a little bit, but not that crazy. Um, so maybe you stock your club if a hullet SBC is one that you got to get done right away. And you think about it, you know, in footmisses of old, footmiss used to be a time and even Winter Wildcards, maybe the first year or so, where everybody invested in fodder because it was just SBCs every single day. Remember we had like the daily countdown for SBCs? This is back to FIFA 18, kind of like what EA have given us for this year in FC 24, like a countdown of all the SBCs that we were going to be getting. What a throwback here. Uh, Footmas Muriel was a card that I used. Junozovic, the, the Musa card, like some of those were some pretty legendary SBCs. But I digress. It's always a good opportunity, I think, to stock your club, especially with a lot of the fodder that's going to be needed for these SBCs. Remember the SBCs that we just looked at from last year, right? Dimitri Payet, he was 83K. That's really easy to get done. That's probably, what, two squads in this year's game, like an 84 and an 85 rated. That's easy to do. Tony Cruz, he was a bit more expensive, 296,000 coins, but it was a great card. So maybe what would you need for this? Maybe some 87s, maybe some 88s. And as you take a look at the fodder market, everything from 84s to 88s are low right now. So at the very least, it's probably not a bad idea to just buy one of some of these fodder cards and stick them in the club if you have a lot of coins, especially if you're looking at these SPCs and saying, I think I might want to end up doing one of those. Not a bad idea, right? Now, also at the same time, you're going to have, of course, EA dropping a ton of packs in the store. Now, it's going to be a situation to where we have to just wait and see what the SBCs look like, what they really require to see what fodder is going to move the most. But it's probably not a terrible idea to do a bit of a club stock. I'm sure EA will find a way to try to not make fodder prices go up like they did during Black Friday. But again, it's always good to be prepared ahead of time with a club stock, even if they do drop a ton of crazy packs in the store, which if they do, why am I saying if they will drop a ton of crazy packs in the store? But I think the 84 to 88 ratings is a place where you could buy some right now, put it in your club, especially if you know you're going to do some of those SBCs and at least have some fodder there before it could maybe go up a little bit in price even later on this week with other SBCs to come. So that's one thing to watch out for. And then also, this also gives us some insight onto maybe how the market will be impacted. Like, think about it. If Martinelli is dropping on Friday, let's say they do a little position change and he's like a striker or a prime left wing in general, that might hurt some other prime left wings. When um, Maybe when Allison Becker drops, that might hurt some other goalkeeper cards, or special cards, like maybe Ter Stegen in for him because that's a big SBC. Or maybe when John Stones drops or when Bobby Moore drops, if, his, if he gets a pretty big pace boost, maybe center backs, especially Premier League center backs, are hurt. That's going to give us, again, since these are dated, we're going to know and have some info into how that might impact the market and to be able to prepare ahead of time. So that's one thing. We'll be looking at this graphic a lot over the next two weeks until mid -jan early January, that first early week, th Thursday the 4th. We are going to be watching this graphic because we are going to know what SBC comes out each and every day. Now, really quickly, we have a couple other objectives that have been tweeted out earlier in the week that we haven't looked at yet. There is another crafting upgrade completionist coming. I didn't even finish the radioactive one, but looks like we're getting another one 150 times for this one, but you do get some nice packs inside of here, including a lot of 81 11s, 85 times, 83 times 5, 84 double, 83 times 10 twice there at the end, and then some 25 and 50k packs along the way. So that is uh, another one of those that is coming. And also, daily login rewards. Hopefully this time I don't miss it like I did and uh, miss out like I did with the uh, the one that we've had recently, the radioactive one. But again, some good ones in here. And 84 times 20 at the very end. 
that's a great pack. Fantastic from EA. Also some loan cards in here. Uh, if you have a Team League Garnacho, Centurions Correa, or Radioactive Kessie, or a base Dudek tradable in your team, I would sell those because once they give out loans, even for some of those cards, I know those cards aren't very expensive. Their prices will probably drop off when everybody gets one for free via a loan anyway. So that's one thing to watch out for with leaks. We do have a couple more leaks to look at, but let's get to the market first, right? With all of this, what are prices doing? What happened on the market yesterday? Well, when the loading screen dropped and uh, with the news of all those SBCs that are incoming, prices absolutely tumbled. We've got, we are full out in a market crash because people are definitely excited and hyped and expectant of what is to come with Winter Wild Cards with all those SBCs, with the promo cards, just knowing Winter Wild Cards is a nuts promo. Cancelo, I sold them for $3.99. On, uh, on Monday. And here we are heading into Wednesday and he was 330K just a bit ago, bounced back a little bit on some overnight rarity. Guys, prices yesterday dropped like crazy. Panic selling and supply a little bit, but there's not a whole lot of supply on an icon like Mia Ham, right? She went from 4.9 million coins yesterday down to 4.2 million coins. And she's down from 5.3 just five days ago, down a million coins in literally less than a week. More cards, for example, UEFA Heroes Viali. He was 470K. Look at this drop off, Joof, all the way down to 400,000 coins. Everywhere you look on the market right now, there are prices that are dropping because of people panic selling, especially ahead of what this big time promo is going to bring to this game. In packs cards, out of packs cards, specifically more so though, the middle to, to high here, uh, high tier, right? We're talking cards that are like four, five, six hundred thousand coins and above, specifically some of those like icons. If we take a look at the index icon, um, market. You can tell prices were dropping yesterday, but if you look at some of these icons that are down a ton, Patrick Vieira, 2.2 million coins. Jarzinho was 1.4, under 1.5 million coins. He was uh, 2 mil, yeah, just a couple days ago, 2 million coins. Yesterday, you look at his graph, zoof, all the way from 1.7 down to 1.5, and now he's 1.4. So, Prices are going to continue to drop, guys, because people right now, this is, remember like pre-Black Friday, it's the same sort of situation that we had before the Black Friday promo came out, right? Everybody is looking forward to the next promo. They're maybe saving packs, they're waiting to buy cards for their team because they know that what is coming is hype. And it's they're expectant of something special, right? So a lot of people are not buying. That's part of the reason why the market has been dropping so much in the last couple of days is that people know stuff is coming, so they're not buying as much. I do believe, guys, that the market will continue to drop for the next couple of days. But also, similar to Black Friday, once you get to the actual promo and that content is released, the switch flips and cards end up going up later on why does tevez have a six million coin price range i just noticed this he's 1.3 mil which is down 400k he was like 1718 yesterday and he has a six mil price range things that do not make sense that's just a coin transfer waiting to happen EA. lower that price range anyways but remember after black friday when cards like went up or a lot of like road to the knockout cards like i remember this draw pedro I remember DePaul specifically looking at his card he went up in price after black friday as people opened packs got a lot of coins went out and bought some meta cards for their team some of that's going to happen after winter wild cards this weekend as well into like next week and into january even with team of the year on the horizon yeah i expect cards to still rebound a little bit in price uh, but i think before we get to that rebound we're still going to have some prices dropping today i think prices will continue to stay low because again people just don't really want to buy right now so watch the market closely if there's cards that you want to buy for your team maybe from one of the most recent promos dynasties radioactive team of the group stage we do have to be careful with ea potentially re-releasing old promo cards back into packs like they did with the road of the knockouts this weekend there's a very high likelihood they could do that again over this holiday period. They did it last year uh, on Christmas Day. So there's potential for that. So we have to be careful for that. But there could be opportunities to pick up a few cards here this weekend and see them rise in the next couple of weeks. We're going to talk a lot about the market in the next couple of days and follow that situation closely. But let's talk about today on Wednesday for a second because we still have a big SBC that is looming and it is once again a player of the month, Mbappe. And yesterday, actually, there was a couple of tweets of people saying that they thought the SBC was going to be yesterday. Very 
cryptic tweet here from FIFA Romania. He tweeted literally the turtle emoji, which everybody assumes was Mbappe. Mbappe did not drop yesterday, but it almost was the exact same scenario that happened when the first Mbappe player of the month was dropped. It was kind of said to be coming on a Tuesday, and then it actually came out on a Wednesday. I don't know when it's going to come out, guys. It could be today. It could be later in the week. It's a weird scenario because we still have an Mbappe POTM that is technically available to 92, right, for a couple more days. So it's possible that it could be today. We'll just have to see. Again, a lot of questions around how much that SBC going to cost. If I had to just drop a guess right now for the 93 Mbappe, where's the 93? This one's like 4.6 mil. He's dropped off a lot. I think the SBC might be 4.5 mil, 4.6 mil as well. We'll just have to see. It's going to be expensive, but if that drops today, there will be a lot of talk about another Mbappe SBC. So watch out for that one. And then we do have a new team of the week that is coming today, and it's at least for the top-tier players. We have the leaks. From Foot Police Leaks, he says, Osiman, Varan, St. Maximin, Kim Min Jae, Luka Modric are all in this team of the week. And I know he's got some 80 rated ones in here, 82s. I wouldn't worry, guys. The minimum right now for team of the week is 83 rated. So maybe some potentially more cards that you could put into that evolution that dropped yesterday if you have interest. So watch out for that. Doesn't seem like that massive of a team of the week. And then still, we have SBCs that we're expecting during the week this week. The pundit picks, we're still waiting on that. Uh, we're still waiting on a team of the group stage Champions League player since we had Griffo yesterday. That is still up and coming as well. And uh, yeah, I mean, we're going to have more refreshes today, of course. You get the 84 times 5. It's going to refresh. I need more informs, right? So I can get that done. The 82 plus player pick is going to be uh, refreshing again today five more times. So a lot of SBCs still happening on this game. Maybe even another upgrade pack comes out today. EA know right now after they drop that loading screen and that tweet that they put out that people want to save packs. Why wouldn't they drop, I don't know, maybe like an 86 times 2 or an 85 plus player pick like last week. That could be another sort of upgrade SBC that we have today that could maybe make some fodder prices move, but really just be another pack that EA knows everybody would love to stack. Now, speaking of packs, last thing we're going to talk about in this video. I know we're going long, but we got to talk about all this stuff. There's been some absolutely in insane, like incredible because it's just blowing my mind how crazy these packs are added to the code. It's tweeted by Foot Scoreboard and some of these guys that have access to like the back end of the web app where they get this pack code. There's an 84 times 20 pack that is coming to the store that includes a promo icon or hero with no base versions. It's called a 2023 historical encore pack. What a pack name. And this is the official pack design, by the way. So it includes one cent Centurion's Triple Threat, Thunderstruck, or Ultimate Dynasties, Hero, or Icon, and also an 84 times 20 inside of the pack. That's nuts, but this one is even crazier. This is called the Ultra Wildcard Pack. It guarantees three Winter Wildcard player items rated 87 or above, which will probably be most of them, but it's still crazy. Three Winter Wildcard items, and also 11 rare golds rated 88 or above. Yes, you heard that correctly. That is an 88 times 11 pack with three guaranteed. This is going to be the most expensive pack with coins and or FC points that we have ever seen. Like I think 500k or 600k is the record right now for a store pack. That is probably going to be blown out of the water because if you think about it, an 88 times 11, if 88s are 20,000 coins, that's 220,000 coins worth of value in 88s alone. So that pack with three promo cards in it as well has to be at least six, seven hundred thousand coins, maybe 750k that pack will cost. That is ridiculous. So that is a pack that's been added to the code, and I had to mention that to you guys because I don't know how many FC points EA is going to ask for that either. Maybe 5,000, a little $50 pack. I don't know, 750,000 coins. I mean, yeah, you're going to get a lot of fodder from that, which would be crazy to complete an SBC like a player of the month, Mbappe, or a Holid SBC. But that is just bananas. And I mean, that's a crazy, crazy pack. So right now, everybody is just trying to get fodder, right? And if you need fodder, one thing I'll shout for you to do, do not forget to do your daily gold upgrade SBCs. Uh, this one right here, you can do it every single day three times. It is very helpful in doing player picks. 80 plus player picks give out informs right now. They give out 82s, 83s, 84s on the usual to get done an 84 times 5 or an 83 plus team league pick. Whatever you may need, that low rated fodder is plentiful from this player pick. So I wanted to mention that to you guys as well that are grinding the menus. And if you need more fodder too, 
go play some objectives. Today is the last full day of this season, and then we're going to have another season starting tomorrow on Thursday with new objectives. So maybe if you need to get XP, uh, go ahead and, and grind it out. I'm going to hold on to my weekly gameplay here. Some people were mentioning in the stream yesterday that before the XP is actually glitched from this and carried forward and counted towards the new season. I know it's not a lot of XP, but hey, 500 XP, that might help out a little bit. So I'm going to try that, leave that objective unclaimed until tomorrow at rewards time with Rivals Rewards and the season reset, and we will see what happens from there. But that's a long video from us today, guys, because there is so much going on in this game right now. It is absolutely crazy. I expect some more leaks today. I expect more news about Winter Wild Cards and hopefully some decent content from EA Sports. If you enjoyed the video today, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. And go check out the video on the second channel. I'll post a link right here. If you enjoyed the video today, again, I will see you guys in the Twitch stream today. It's been Nathan for the count. See you guys there. Peace. Out.